This is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're talking about the SP145, one of our newest products. The SP145 is USB C powered for reliable and accurate spectrum analysis and RF data acquisition in a continuously changing environment. RF professionals everywhere will find diverse use for the SP145, including LTE test and measurement, vector signal analysis, drive testing, spectrum monitoring, and more. Hello, and welcome to Talking RF. Sean here with Justin Crooks, Senior RF Engineer and Hardware Designer for all SignalHounds products. Today we're talking about the SP145, our newest spectrum analyzer set to hit the market later this year. The SP145 is 100 kHz to 14.5 GHz real-time RF spectrum analyzer that offers instantaneous bandwidth of 40 MHz and a sweep speed of 200 GHz per second. Featuring an internal GPS and a wider dynamic range, the SP145 is bridging the gap between our popular BB series and our top-of-the-line SM series of products. Justin, the SP145. Yes. Exciting. Very new, exciting. New product <laughs> out for the market. Let's talk about it. Uh, what is the SP145 and where in the world does it fit in? So there aren't a lot of uh, portable spectrum analyzers that, that go beyond 6 gigahertz. You know, everyone has their six gig product, but very few people actually go beyond that. Um, we also included an internal GPS. So, you know, we're thinking about the mapping type solutions, whether it's, you know, walking or driving, you know, drive test solutions. Um, all of that just becomes so much simpler with the SP145. You can extend your frequency range. You know, they're, they're using stuff above six gigahertz a lot more now, up, up through like seven and a half, eight gigahertz, even you know, for short range type communications. And of course the satellite industry uses a lot higher frequencies uh, and the SP145 is an answer for, for all of those. How were you able to kind of like take the best parts of what you thought uh, for the SP145 from the SM200 and put them into such a tight, compact format, a portable format? For sure I wanted to keep the dynamic range, um, which kind of did set a floor for how much power I would need. Um, I also wanted to keep the GPS functions because, you know, that's really useful to not only know how strong the signal is, but where it is. Mm. This is kind of the, the, as much as we could pack into something that's portable, USB powered under 10 watts, uh, that had the dynamic range that could really make the measurements that people need. What were the customer needs slash requests when developing the SP145 and how did you identify that the 14.5 bandwidth was something that was a, uh, need, needed to be addressed? Um, yeah, so our European uh, distributor was one who pushed very hard for that 14.5. We were going to make it closer to the SA124, you know, 12.4 to 13 gigahertz stop frequency. But I guess there's a lot of, a lot of uh, satellite uh, needs that go above 13 gigahertz, but but stop at 14.5. Can you identify some applications or uses that maybe the SP145 will be able to fit in in between the BB and the SM? The SP145 does have 40 megahertz of you know, real-time streaming bandwidth. Um, there's a lot of LTE type signals that occupy a, a full 40 megahertz slice and uh, including some of the new the Wi-Fi standards. It's a very common uh, bandwidth requirement for uh, both commercial and military applications. The idea was to provide as much bandwidth and frequency coverage as we could in a form factor that's a lot closer to the BB60D than the SM200. So portability was kind of like a big yeah. motivating factor and portability and power. Yeah, and we were also thinking about the, the drone market, you know, increasingly people are putting these, you know, spectrum analyzers and receivers on drones and flying around taking measurements, you know, not only on the ground, but, you know, circling antennas or uh, other aerial type measurements. Um, and the size, weight, and power become super important for applications like that. Uh, can you take us through some of the architectural design aspects? Uh, yeah, the SP145 is uh, super simple. It's a low IF system like the SM200. Um, we're uh, dual channel 122.88 uh, mega sample per second ADCs. Uh, we're bringing in that data and then we're doing uh, basically just using one sideband uh, for image rejection for the sideband that we're keeping. Um, and we're able to do that uh, over temperature 
uh, you know, with the, the IQ balance corrections that we generate in our temperature chamber. So can you talk a little bit more about like the internal GPS? Um, yeah, that's one thing that I was really excited that we got to bring over from the SM200 architecture was, you know, that ability to have a GPS that not only can it, you know, tell you w where you are on the map, uh, it, it also can sta stabilize our time base. So now, you know, you don't really have to worry, am I, you know, 0.1 ppm off? You know, if you've got a GPS, your frequency is, is almost perfect. Um, so it's really exciting to be able to have a product that, you know, can be used for those, those uh, you know, the drive test solutions, um, but also to have, you know, that pristine frequency accuracy all in this super portable device. If you have any questions for Justin or if you want to know more about the SP145, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you have any additional questions just in about RF in general or about SignalHound in general, please feel free to leave those as well. Uh, SignalHound creates spectrum analyzers and tracking generators for the world at large. Like, follow, and subscribe for more SignalHound and RF content.